Hallelujah. Christ is our Passover. Yeah, Jesus Christ is our Lamb of Passover. What does Passover mean to you? My question to you now. Eh? Today, I, I, today message Jesus Christ is our Passover, Passover Lamb, Lamb of God, Passover Lamb. John, let me tell you. John Baptist said, "Yeah, I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to tell you the two critical points that uh, John Baptist proclaimed." Ah, what he say? Jesus is our Lamb of Passover. Second voice. He takes away the sin of the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know that. What does it mean? What does Passover mean to you? That's my question. You may say that it, Passover is a uh, a Jewish ceremonial meal or the remarkable event, remarkable event of the ancient Passover. Uh, in show, uh, in showing in the Exodus in Bible. Yeah. Yes. Everybody know. Biblical book, the Bible says, Passover, we see. And so you, you may see, you may speak Passover. Well, Passover ritual passed down for thousand years uh, to commemorate Jewish people that are enjoying this festival from that time. God supernaturally freed Israel from the slavery of Egypt. People of Israel painted blood of lamb on the doorpost. That night, God killed the firstborn of Egypt, not firstborn of children of Israel. And of death passed over. That's why we call it passed over. And of death passed over. The houses marked painted those two two post Passover. Uh. But I want to tell you, can I tell you the, what deeply the Passover is spiritually? Can I tell you now? The stay with me, oh my friend. Today, Christian, some Christians said this, they might view the biblical account of the Passover at the time of Exodus as uh, an, just an encouraging story that give us the, this, it, it, strong strong strength wherever we read this story in Bible. Yeah, 
and that is true and uh, we see how God intervened bureaucracy in history to take care of his people, chosen people, children of Israel. Yes, God, God took care of the people of Israel. God loves children of Israel, chosen people. Delivered from the slavery, 430 years, slavery. They had been suffering as a slave. Bureaucracy got performed, saved the people of Israel by the Moses, leader of the children of Israel. But let me tell you that is, I want to point out, yeah, I want to tell the spiritual point of this Passover to this message that you will enjoy, you will love this message. Jesus Christ is Passover Lamb, Passover Lamb. But this bureaucracy event God performed for the children of Israel are uh, more than story of encouragement we might thought Passover is a vital element of Christian gospel hallelujah this is related to to the Christian gospel we should preach now that's why I'm preaching now, today's core message, Passover message of Jesus Christ. I want you to understand, Passover message give us a good answer, important question about the, uh, forgiveness and God's grace, this Passover, spiritual meaning deeply, give us correct answer. We want to find out this answer that our Forgiveness by God. We are forgiveness. We are forgiven and got the grace of God. How we got God's grace and are forgiven. We understand through the, this Passover story. Stay with me. As I mentioned, two critical points in John's proclamation. He proclaimed the wilderness. Jesus is the Lamb of God. The later Apostle Paul called Jesus, our Passover. The oldest church, first generation church, believed Passover was not only a deeply meaningful ceremony, but also they believed Passover is person. They believe that Passover is just a person. Person who Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
they showed that Jesus Christ is Passover. Hmm? Yeah, John, second point of, I want to tell Jesus, John, John proclaimed, look at the Jesus Christ, take away sins of the world. You sit my sin. You know, ancient people, Israelite people, could to be only, you know, blood of lamb painted on the their doorstep. Huh? They, they could be saved by blood of rem. Passover lambs. It is only through the blood of animal. But, you know, Jesus shed his blood and substitute for what human being being actually deserve. We should be died. That we can be saved from the slavery and the death caused by our sins. Hmm? Bible say almost all things are purged by blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Hebrews 9, 22. My Bible says, uh, uh, Romans 6, 26, Wage of sin is death, but gift of God is eternal life in our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah, I pray. You know, Ephesians 1, chapter 7, yes, we have redemption through the blood, forgiveness of sin, according to he is richly grace of God. Hallelujah. You know, today, uh, many Jewish people celebrate the Passover festival, but the Christian can not enjoy and uh, not observe the Passover at the same time, same manner. That is true. So my question, why do most Christians not observe the Passover at the that they are not going to enjoy like Easter and Christmas? Jesus Christ said, Observe the Passover. And I said to you, He said to disciples many times, We have to follow as a Christian His instruction. Or the 
Passover observance is also very important because it ties to get the Old and the New Testament in unique way. So many aspects of the Exodus story Bible fit to perfectly into the meaning of Passover and uh, were symbolic of Jesus Christ, focus on the symbol of Jesus Christ. The Lamb, the concept of sacrifice and the Christ blood uh, both section of a Bible all the New Testament and needed to understand and complete the picture complete the picture we have to think about all the testament is incomplete without the New Testament. The New Testament cannot be fully understood without the Old Testament. Am I right? That especially so in terms of Passover and how Christ fulfilled the role of the sacrificial lamb role of sacrificial lamb e that is Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. This connection bring uh, can I tell you more? Passover meaning deeply. Oh is there anybody who and us thinking deeply Passover meaning spiritually or oh, hallelujah. God bless them who I pray for those who think of the Passover realm right now thank you the blood of Passover lamb who takes out our sins cleaned our sin hallelujah pray the Lord amen thank you this deed knowledge of Christ dying for us and uh, how much God loves us and his great purpose for us we understand Whenever we think about the Passover lambs, oh. you know, redemption, we have redemption through the His blood. Yes, forgiveness of sins. What is redemption? What is the definition of the redemption? Redemption means for to to buy back to buy back or to save from captivity by 
pay your ransom. You know. Yeah. That is the meaning of redemption. Ah. Oh. You know, we as a Christian today, we can experience God's power and grace. Hallelujah. Yeah, in every day we enjoy God's power, God's grace that it loved us. God's tremendous in loving us. We can experience God's power and grace in increasing, not increasing. Yeah, yeah, increasing. In every day, wherever we pray, we feel the God's power and releasing the shackles of our sin and conquering, hallelujah, long desire, we might think. Yes. If you desire a great understanding of God's forgiveness and uh, you know God we want to yeah God to break our bondage to our sin when we pray to God's grace our sin will be gone. Our bondage will be delayed by the power of God, which is the Lamb of God that passed over Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. The time is now to break the bond of the human tradition. Yeah. That is very evil sin. Human tradition. And we have to seek Jesus Christ at the Passover and observe, observe his sacrifice in the way he had to do and told us hallelujah pray the lord amen give me glory my 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 god and the passover land think about the passover land and pray when you pray to the lord always observe the think about the Passover Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Savior. His blood covered with all of your area, every area where you want to walk to do for the growth of God. Hallelujah. See you later. Bye bye. See you later.